Welcome back to Odd World Abe's Exodus, ladies and gentlemen. In the last part, we were formally introduced to Soulstorm Brew, a drink that, um, it is so addictive that it made our Mudokan buddies, like, incredibly sick. So, um, trying to figure out a way to, uh, cure our Mudokan buddies, we gotta progress further into the Mudokan <laughs> Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> oh. You missed. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, blind Mudokans, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> also, I meant to say Necromines, not Mudokan Mines, but... Hmm, actually, at the same time, though, this mine is inhabited with Mudokans as well, so I guess I'm not technically wrong. Oh, well. Anyway, yeah, at that earlier point, um, yeah, that was technically the, uh, appropriate introduction of the, uh, blind Mudokans, but no, because of the secret we ran into earlier, yeah, as I said earlier, that we got a little sneak peek at, uh... The, how we handle uh, Bly Mutakins. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, and I could be wrong, I'm considering that usually Mutakins always have to enter like a one way or the other side of the portal. I think they, I think the programmers have found a way to like, uh, like they face the portal, like the entryway of the portal in the opposite direction, like facing the wall. So it made the uh, Mudokin an AI to to have no choice but to run into the wall and then make him run into the uh, appropriate direction oh, of the, he went in straight the uh, portal. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, he was, no. He was hoping for them to miss the bird portal again. Yeah, so you, you, yeah, do, you, do realize, yeah. you do realize every blind, blind new duck you save from now on, I'm going to expect them to run into the wall first. You guys are awful. <laughs> it's funny! <laughs> now you see, this is going to be one of the most horrible, thing, horrible things I ever say. But I imagine some of the most hilarious deaths of all of all, of all these guys. <laughs> tisk tisk. God. And it's like Please. my god. It's like my god, Mudokin. How can you miss that? Because <laughs> well, their mean, eyes are shown stuck. Were, were you? Yeah, were you making? Have you forgotten about that? I mean, were were you, you making know. bad jokes about the blind Mudokins in the last episode, BJ? I was no. I wasn't hoping it would happen. I was expecting it to happen. <laughs> I said expect. I said I didn't. I didn't say hope for it to happen. I said you. I said ex I'm expecting it to happen why every did single you go, time oh, now. Oh, like because it was funny. Oh man, my hopes were ruined. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. One thing that I do love, like a little added, a little nice touch they added with the Mudokins, like they added different pitches of each Mudokin's voice, like each individual one. Right. Like we could have a really high pitched Mudokin, and then there's like, <laughs> like a really monotone Mudokin. Fuck and these it's rocks. Fucking hilarious. Fuck, fuck these rocks. I'm gonna get a brand new batch of rocks. Gotta reload. Anyway. So what are we doing? Well, we're progressing further into the Necro Mines to not only uh, find a, uh, a supposed cure for uh, Soulstorm Brew sickness, you know, because of what happened with our Budaki buddies, um, but hopefully uh, along the way we'll be able to shut down Necro Mines as well. Okay. Seeing as how, as shown, as we as we established in the last part, um, the biggest, the main ingredient with the Soulstorm Brew is Budaki bones and the Necro Mines. Are the biggest so source of all these Mudokin bones. Oh, hey, Soulstar and Brew bottles at the bottom. You know what that means? More secrets. Actually, this little secret right here is actually uh, like a little uh, subpart for this uh, other secret we'll, we'll uh, run into later in the level. There you go, Brandon. <laughs> but it wasn't what? a portal. Down. <laughs> nobody, nobody still hit the wall. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, gotta be extra careful with maneuvering around these bone grinders. Ah, there we go. Oh, you know, BJ, you mentioned Brandon being a monster. It's like, only a fool or a murderer would pull this lever. Brandon, you murderer. I'm not the one playing. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, knowing how you had hopes and dreams of people running into walls, eh, I don't know. Running into a wall is different from pulling a lever that could potentially kill someone. 
yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's still, a, a, you're still expecting, you were still hoping a bad thing to happen to Mudokin. I would've wished death upon a Mudokin. I do, I do kind of wonder how much of a beginner's <laughs> trap that is, because something tells me that quite often, wow, okay. <laughs> what the <Anyway>. hell? <laughs> Ha ha! Blind Budok is being beaten by Slinks is really funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is going to be like the, this is going to be like like the most Tumblr written written episode of, on our channel yet. <laughs> you are a terrible person. Oh my god! I'm all right, sorry. Well, well, all right. We'll leave that Blind Budok in there for now because um. We, we need, alright, once we go up here and enter the well, if memory serves, uh, it should lead us to, uh, the upper level, um, where we have to pull this lever in order to pull down the pulley. Or, not pulley, lift. There we go. Ah, there we go. Alright, so, now with that, now, so with the lift, um, not only will we be able to, um, uh, lead the Budokans across that gap that was there before, but it should lead us to the second half of the secret I mentioned earlier. So for now, let me just uh, gather up uh, these three here. Hello. Okay. Uh-oh, 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 okay! <laughs> it's like a freaking echo chamber. <laughs> See, you know what? Now I'm waiting for the for, for the next gimmick of the deaf Budokans, where you can only where they, you, you can only get their attention if they're if you're right in front of them. That makes that make for some interesting challenge. <laughs> God damn! Ah oh, crap! <laughs> like if these guys, up, if, if those two guys up there were deaf as opposed to blind, the, the, you wouldn't be able to do any. You would, wouldn't be able to do anything for them. Uh. Hello. Well, well, the, no, well, I mean that that means Abe will have to have to learn sign language or do something with his hands. <laughs> well, he just wave and just be like, "Hey, come here!" Like I don't know. Here, here I'm doing hand gesturing for 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 a webcamless commentary. God damn it! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm still waiting for the super hard run, blind and deaf, Budokins. What now, fucker? <laughs> run, my blind brethren! Dude, that was a bunch of them. Oh yeah, it was. So that so knocks out. Hmm? Oh yeah. I kind of have to ask. Their eyes are only sewn shut, right? Yeah. So is it possible to unsew their eyes? Hmm. Like, that's will, a good. Will that happen? That's a will good that happen point. later on for the for the ones that are freed? Um. Then actually, you know what? Actually, no, no. Their eyes are still sewn shut. So if these motherfuckers just leave their eyes sewn shut. Why? <laughs> When they could very easily just... Well, who... Well, I mean... Hmm. Well, why, well, good why is Abe's mouth still so shut? Why is... Oh, because, um... Um... As I explained, um... From a little, uh... A plot point that was cut out from Munch's Odyssey due to time constraints, uh, you know, Sam, the Wadokan Queen... Um... His stitches, um... Were, were sewn by Sam, uh... Essentially Abe's mother. Because um, when uh, Abe was an infant, he start he cried a lot, which caused a lot of disturbances with like Gluckins, uh, this other species, Vikers. So just so that um, uh, Sam wouldn't allow Abe to get killed, she has uh, sewn uh, Abe's mouth shut. So I mean, in a way, there is a way that uh, I guess Abe could get take the stitches off, but because they're like a symbol of his uh, long lost mother, he wanted to keep them on. I mean, plus on top of that, considering that he's had like uh, the, the stitches on since childhood, um, and uh, since then the stitches have loosened, it's like, well, I mean, he can still be able to talk, so I mean, it's it doesn't bother him that much, really. Also, I, I want to comment. Also, but, minecart. Well, I mean, no, I, I was gonna comment with with those laser puzzles. I, I, I was getting some serious Undertale vibes there. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Oh, I, I guess that is true, though. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that is so true. God damn it, I still need to play that fucking game. Like I said, we will get you onto that relatively soon. Until then, I will not understand any of these Undertale references. Fuck! I still need to get Pika you onto it too. Like, she refuses to play it at this point for the principal, but I'm, go I'm going to at some point. 
<laughs> Dead. Surprise. <laughs> All right, now this. Oh, oh, fuck me. Damn it, past me. You fucked it up. Ah. Okay, all right, yeah, this one can be a little bit, uh... This one can take a little bit of time, because not only do you, um... Do you have these, uh... Oh, son of a bitch! Yeah, you have... Not only do you have these, uh, lasers that set off the alarms and whatnot, but you also have slings on patrol that walk from one side... One side of the room to the other. Like, from each side of the screen, if that makes any sense. Will the alarm... So, will the laser react to the slings? No, I don't believe so. So they only react to Budokan, wow. Mm-hmm. Well, well, yeah. Talk about another okay, security here, better system. Better question. Better question. Will it react to Abe? Does it only react to Abe? Well, you know what? Funny you should mention that. Because as we saw earlier, um, it, it's funny. I mean, it'll always react to Abe. I mean, I mean, we see this, we see this done before in Abe's Odyssey, so that was a major duh. But earlier, we just saw a blind Wudakin in this area was not affected by the uh, the lasers or whatnot. Yet I believe in some levels, um, uh, if, so if I recall, if I, if I, yeah, if I recall correctly, you know, blind Wudakins are will be affected by the laser in other levels. I think, which is rather weird. It's a kind of a weird inconsistency, I guess. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, that's another inconsistency right fucking there. <laughs> it's like, nope. Yeah, e even I'm... Yeah, that's... It still confuses me even now. It's like, okay, one Mudokin, even, like, before I set it off or whatever, it did not read the blind Mudokin, but <laughs> it's it. like, oh, Let's oh, just oh, get this oh, over oh, with. oh, well, now the laser sees a blind Mudokin. No, okay. it's not even so much that it can, no, it, it, because it missed out on one, then there were two, and that's when they got spotted. Honestly, I don't think, uh, I don't know, I don't know if the amount would honestly really matter, because, it, because it only hit, like, just one Mudokin either way, not both of them. It only takes, like, one Mudokin to set off the alarm. Like so. But yeah, it- but yeah, it takes a- it takes a little bit of strategizing and, uh, patience to, um, not only get- get the Mudokins out of the respective area so that they won't get blown up by any mines you'll run over, but also try not to get avoided- try to not to get inside of the slings so that they won't shoot you or any of the blind Mudokins that may be in the way. Is that thing really a minecart? Because something tells me it's probably more of a hamster wheel. Great. Great. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's a it's a minecart. If I shoot this thing enough, it'll work eventually. <laughs> <laughs> How are you not running out of bullets? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's Good he's, uh, he's wearing the bandana from Metal Gear Solid. He's like he's fucking he fucking game shark the game. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god! These gluckins and slicks will do whatever it takes to get this a Mudaka terrorist. God, those cheating bastards! <laughs> well, you know what? Hey, I can do the same thing. Ow. Uh, save all three hundred. Bam! There you go. Take that. Yeah, okay. oddly enough, from a uh, from a fall like that, usually fucking Abe would die there. But no, I, I guess even that. I guess in this particular case, no, he's perfectly okay. Okay. And there we go. Well, wait. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Technically, yeah, that's the remainder of um the remaining Budokins in this tunnel. So we have just four more left, which should be in the final tunnel. So we're only looking for four. Yep, only four. They're all they're all in the same area. So, oddly enough, well, not odd, not oddly enough. So like, I like, get it. Oh uh, yeah, I get it too. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, no, no. It's like fortunately, um, the uh, remaining four Mudakas, they're in the same area, out of harm's way, pretty much. So they're easy to get. Well, 
But uh, we'll save the remaining four Mudakas and shut down Necromines in the next part. So we'll see you guys then.